Hello folks, this is G-Wave here, and we're back with another GTA Vice City playthrough. And today we're going to be doing Auntie Paulette's missions. The leader of the Haitians. Okay, I don't know what that says. Hello? Hello? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now, you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink eye. Mm. Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, th I, th I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tom. The nasty, proud foo foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Pula. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Notice how weird Tommy's acting? That's because Auntie Paulette drugged him to use a voodoo potion. Yeah, that's right. I think Auntie Paulette might be the only GTA character with magic powers. Also, I don't know why, but this is not Auntie Paulette's real color of her dress. Like, in the actual PlayStation 2 version... Hey, look at this. Hydraulics. In the actual PlayStation 2 version of the game, Auntie Paulette, her robe was actually yellow or white, I guess. But I don't know why Rockstar changed it to purple. I guess because, you know, to make it clear that she's the leader of the Haitians. Now, let me make something clear. Auntie Paulette's missions are not easy. They're not. They're very difficult missions. And also, the dialogue of what Auntie Paulette was saying now had to be changed because the people she's talking about are the Cuban gang, Abeta Rabite's people. And she's and I guess it was a little offensive of what she said, so Rockstar had to change her dialogue. The same thing was Abeta Rabite, they had to change. Later. Come on, Tommy. Shoo, 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 shoo. Come on, Tommy. Get up, get up, get up. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost at Auntie Paulette's house. See, this is a five star mission. $1,000 for all of that crap. 
Whew. All right, let me go get healed up first, and then I'll do Auntie Paulette's next mission. Like, yeah, so basically, Auntie Paulette's dialogue had to be changed because they people were complaining that she was saying offensive stuff about the Cuban people, like the Cuban gang, like it was sounding a little racial, and Rockstar had to change it. And I think the reason why Auntie Paulette has, like, a... A purple dress is to make it look like that she's the leader of the Haitians. So, anyway, I'm gonna go save and then we'll do Auntie Paulette's next mission. And her next one is gonna be difficult. If you guys thought Demolition Man was ridiculous, this one's gonna be ridiculous next. Okay, so now we're gonna do Auntie Paulette's next mission, and this is like another really difficult mission. And watch, look how Tommy acts now. Bombs away, this is hard. L listen, look how Tommy acts. Oh, sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me, a uh, uh, smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I, I... Them have fast boats they used to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. See, like she's controlling Tommy. Also, notice how Auntie Paulette's house sounds like a jungle. Like she's using a voodoo potion to control Tommy. That's why I consider Auntie Paulette the only GTA character with powers. But this mission is just stupid. So basically, Auntie Paulette wants Tommy to do this. And if you guys thought Demolition Man was hard, no, no, no. Demolition Man was the first difficult mission in the game. This is another difficult mission, far worse than Demolition Man. This one's much worse than this one. Kill the Cuban gangster. These are Abeto Rabite's men. Now, Abeto, he never finds out Tommy's doing this, but I don't think Tommy ever realizes what he's doing. But this is why this is bad. Oh my god. And look, this is why it's difficult, because we got to chase the boat, and we got to bomb them. And you got to make sure the bomb touches the boat.
I hate this mission. I really hate the I hate this mission. And you guys thought Demolition Man sucked. This one's worse. This, this mission actually makes Demolition Man look so easy. Finally! This mission is so stupid! Like, again, why couldn't Tommy just, you know... Why couldn't Tommy just shoot them? But either way, we're going to do Auntie Paulette's final mission soon. Alright guys, we're going to do Auntie Paulette's final mission. And it's not easy. Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. Look at Tommy's face. Face. My boys gone war with them boys, but no guns. While they fight in the streets, you will take this rifle. No one sees you, no one hears you. Now, Tommy, you will do this for me, and you no longer tie to my apron string. Okay, Auntie. Like, seriously, look at Tommy's face. What the heck did Auntie Paulette put in that tea? Like I said, they get in the way, the Haitians, like, that's why this mission's so hard, the Haitians get in the way.
And you gotta use the sniper. You can't use any other gun. At least I don't think so. Because if you use another gun, it's gonna shoot quick and all that. Like, the Haitians, they just get in the way. Out the way. Come on. Whew. So yeah, if you want that mission to go by quick, I just figure it out. Take that pill at the bottom. The pill will slow down time. It will waste some health, but make sure you got armor so you won't lose health. So just use the pill. Tommy, Tommy, why you coming back here, Fee? Let me tell you, we don't want to see you around here no more. Crying and bleeding and, and pouncing each other in the face, and that gets in the locker room before the game. That's your idea, fun. So yeah, Auntie Paulette, she's uh she's no longer working with us. So yeah, like that mission's a little difficult because again, the Haitians just get in the way. But I figure it out. Just use the pill. Just use the pill, and it'll slow down time. I know it's weird, but just take it, and it'll make the mission easier. So yeah, like that's Auntie Paulette's final mission. And after this, for some reason, the Haitians turn hostile against us. Actually, no, the Haitians turn hostile against us because we help out Arbeta Rabite, and we're gonna do the rest of Arbeta Rabite's missions next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, that's the end of Auntie Paulette. She's a very underrated. GTA character and I really wish she made an appearance in Vice City stories but she doesn't so yeah if I have to make a ranking on Auntie Paulette's gang her gang are the second most powerful street gang in Vice City we got her who is we got the most powerful is Abeta Rabite. Then we got Auntie Paulette, who's number two. And then, of course, we got the, the Sharks, who are actually the weakest at this point because they lost a lot of influence. And we also got the, the Biker Gang, who I'm going to talk about later. But anyway, Auntie Paulette, 
basically the reason why all people like that war with the Cubans is that even though she has been fighting the Cubans for a while now, a war has ignited between them just because of Tommy. Because remember, in Avery's final mission, Avery had Tommy started a gang war. And he had Tommy dress up like a, a Cuban guy. So this is why Tommy's uniform makes him look like a Cuban. This is the Cuban street gang uniform. And basically, that's why the Cubans and the Haitians are at war with each other. And Abeta Rabite, he ends up winning the war. And we're going to do that next video. Like, I'm going to show you how Abeta Rabite wins the war. And Abeta Rabite, they never find out that Tommy was helping the Haitians, and Tommy doesn't even know he was helping them because he was under mind control from Auntie Paulette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, like, subscribe, and do that other fun stuff. Check out my TikTok and Instagram if you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys next time when we do yet another GTA Vice City playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, check out on your loved ones and make sure they're okay. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day or night, depending what time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys when we do a bit the Rabite's missions. This is G-Wave signing out. Peace and God bless. Bye.